That's what you get for trying to take my bacon. Hello? Oh, we're on. Oh. Oh, there's a camera standing right in front of me? And I'm the only one sitting in this room, so this is sketchy because I'm kind of talking to myself right now? Oh. Well, hello. Welcome back to the Matt Banky Show. I'd like to personally thank everyone who spends their time watching the show instead of going out and doing other things, like having a life or making friends. Well, anyway, the show has been getting a lot of good ratings, so I thank you all again for watching and hope that you will continue to watch through Season 2. However, something has come to our attention that is slightly disturbing. As you know, it is completely fine to be watching the Matt Banky show in school, especially during your freeze, your math classes, your woodshop classes, your foreign language classes, your English classes, your history classes, your science classes, except for physics. Physics. You do not watch the Matt Banky show. No. But there are certain other videos that you should not be watching in school. This is what we found. Jack Bosch's cheap carbon copy of the Matt Banky show. Except with that video. So it's not as good. If you're making a podcast that's similar to a show made by a 17-year-old boy making a show that's similar to a 35-year-old man pretending to be a boy making a show, that's just creepy. So if anyone's noticed that Jack Bosch has disappeared, it had nothing to do with us. Look, it's that Jack in the box! Get him! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Now, no more show, no more Jack in the Box, do you understand me? No more <laughs> Not me! On one condition! What's that? I want you to blow me, man. <laughs> yes! Alright, hold on a minute. What was that? That was pathetic. I mean, come on. I called these children my minions? First of all, Wes tripped three times. Here. Here. And here. Then, they all tackle shoot. I mean, of course it's fun to tackle shoot, but we're trying to beat up Jack. I mean, I mean, make friends with Jack Bosha in this skit. And then, of course, we got shoot at the end saying, Yes! <laughs> I'm sure you've all noticed that the Chinese exchange program has come to DHS recently. Of course. Unless you're very slow. Then it might take a little bit longer to notice. Due to the exchange itself, as well as the new classes in our school, such as Mandarin and Calligraphy, the Chinese student exchange program has managed to flip Darian's ideas about the rest of the world for the better. Especially in Darian High School. I have been flipped! Recently, our good friend Robert Keane has thought of many inventive ways to pick up chicks, as he calls it. These methods include axe body spray, a new wardrobe, and of course, burning his comb. However, most recently, Rob has come under the impression that Wes Morehouse's hat is a chick magnet of sorts that will attract chicks almost as much as shoot attracts flies. For this reason, Rob has decided to hunt Wes down. Rob 
should take lessons from me. This is how I pick up chicks. sexual preferences seems to be prominent in our small multicultural community of Darien. Although this is seen as harmless by many, it can be hurtful to others. You're selling pictures, picture so I'm gonna kill you. These lights are really gay! I love to end it! I love to end it! This has also led to violence. You're writing with your left hand, that means you're gay. That's right! <laughs> It has even led some people to think that being gay is a crime. Some people even go as far as to call it a disease, which leads to them trying to prevent their friends from coming out of the closet. No! Get out of the closet! Son of a bitch! Still, there are some who support gay rights. Hi, I'm Amy, and I think gay rights are important because... So remember, kids, before you say, that's gay... Hey, how's it going? Your shoes are gay. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sure many students are wondering why high schools all over the country, including our own, are not allowing their students to order delivery food to the school. This ban on food has nothing to do with mistrust in the students, but merely fear of the pizza boy, who seems to come and destroy the school on a daily basis. Just look at this footage we managed to capture. Kenny! <laughs> I see London, I see France, I see Brian Thunderpants! Well, this is what we have to say to you, pizza boy. <laughs> <laughs> but those other rules about giving hugs to random people in the hall and selling illegal junk food outside the cafeteria, I don't understand those whatsoever. It's a hundred dollars a Twix bar. <laughs> skit was sponsored by Pepsi. In the next segment, some students are going to come out about some of their most horrible, disturbing secrets. I'm left-handed. I'm from Romania, and I'm a girl. Uh, yeah, alright, I'm kind of a porn addict. Yeah, well, I'm so big right now. I can go on about the environment for a very That's long time. The I am your favorite part of the morning. I'm left-handed. It's still this from the China Exchange program. What are you talking about? I've never seen them before in my life. I like wearing women's lingerie. I'm French. I'm the juggernaut, Matchard! I'm the juggernaut! 
Matt Shute has a sweatshop in his basement. I'm French. Hello, my name is Dylan, but my real name is Satan. I will eat your soul, mortal. Life sucks! You die! You die! Die! You die! Leave me in the you alone! Why? Why? What are you... No, I'm not gonna take my pants off you again, Mad Banky. I'm a freshman. I am left-handed. My name is Bobby Smith. I have a small penis. I'm French. I fucking hate Taco Bell. <laughs>